Hello everyone, my name is Lori Caldwell and I'm a master composter. Today I'm going to teach you how to build a compost pile. So why build a compost pile? Well first of all I'm here to tell you that building a compost pile can be very easy. You can build it to fit whatever lifestyle you have. If you have a lot of material, if you have um, not so much material, you can be successful with both. So why compost then? Uh, composting is a great way to uh, close the loop or recycle resources on your property, in your garden. Um, it definitely helps build that healthy soil and healthy soil means healthy plants. It reduces the, the need for toxics such as pesticides, fungicides, and herbicides in your garden and it's just plain fun. So how do you compost? First of all, you need to start with a compost bin. Typically, a compost bin that you're going to get is going to be three cubic yards in volume, it's going to have a lid and a base that'll make it rodent resistant. So what do you need to put in your compost bin? You're going to start off with brown materials. Um, those are high in carbon, um, dried leaves, wood, um, uh, straw. Those materials are going to form the base of your, of your compost pile. You're, then next you're going to take a green material. There are things, something that's fresh and wet, high in nitrogen, something such as food scraps, um, fruit and vegetable peelings, eggshells, coffee grounds, tea bags herbivore manures and you're going to mix those together in 50-50. Um, you're going to add water and you're going to add air or you're going to aerate the pile to help speed up decomposition. So how we always build a pile is we talk about starting off with the brown, that brown, that high carbon material. You're going to add the nitrogen or the greens on top of that, that fresh wet material. You're going to add water on top of that. We talk about damp as a wrung out sponge, so just a, a little bit of water. And then you're going to aerate it using a uh, turning fork or whatever you have to mix the pile. And then on top of all that, you're going to and top it with the brown. So you're going to start with the brown and you're going to finish with the brown. So now here comes the fun part. The three basic steps for building a compost pile are chop, mix, and maintain. You're going to chop the materials uh, as small as you can to increase the surface area and to ensure that decomposition is going to happen a lot faster. You're going to want to mix the pile. Um, I like to use a turning fork. Generally, when the pile gets wet, uh, the materials have a tendency to squash down, um, closing the air spaces um, and making it impossible for decomposition to happen. By mixing the pile, not only are you adding oxygen to the pile, but you're making more room for the macroorganisms, the worms and the roly polies to give them access to the material to help break that down as well. And then uh, maintain. Uh, depending on how, uh, how busy you are, depends on how often you're going to maintain it. Now we always say that compost happens. So if you're out there every week turning it, adding water to it, it's going to break down a lot faster as opposed to if you're only out there every once in a while. But it's going to break down um, if you pay attention to it or not. Well, congratulations, you have learned how to make compost. Now for more information, please go to stopwaste.org. Um, on that site, you can find information on where to buy a bin, um, how to make a bin, and troubleshooting tips. Thank you for joining me, and happy composting!